Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get yourself some modded wood in Lumber Tycoon 2. The first thing you should do is find yourself a tree, preferably one with a lot of branches and a long trunk, and then you're just going to want to chop down from the trunk and you're not going to want to cut anything else. So, as you can see, the whole tree will fall over and you're just going to want to take this entire tree to the wood drop off. Um, if it's a smaller tree, you might be able to fit it in your truck, but if not, I just recommend dragging it with your hands by rotating it. Once you have your tree over here, you just want to put the trunk first into the wood drop-off so that the all the branches are facing towards this rock right here. So you can see that I have my trunk on the conveyor belt, and now I'm just going to pull this in right here so that the trunk of the tree sells. And once that happens, you're just going to want to take all these branches and just put them off of the conveyor belt for now. Now, just look at all your branches and try to find the one that has the least amount of wood. For me, this one looks like it has the least, so I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the trunk, but with this branch. Alright, so that just sold. Now you're going to want to take the smaller branches that you just got disconnected from that other one and find the one, again, with the least amount of wood. And for me, it's this one. And you're just going to want to do the same thing you did with the last branch. And now you'll have pieces, individual pieces. You're just going to want to take one of these and try not to let it touch the ground because if it does, it might just become too heavy to pick up so you're just going to want to take this all the way to your base so i just accidentally dropped my piece but as you can see what has happened is now i can't pick it up because it thinks it's the same weight as the entire tree over there so if this happens you're gonna to have to sell another branch just it's best not to though um you want to make sure you keep as much of the branch as you can because then the piece that comes out will be longer I just got a new piece of wood and I'm now going to put it into my sawmill. By the way, the more space you have behind your sawmill, the better because then the piece that comes out is less likely, likely to get stuck on anything. So as you can see, once I put in a piece of wood, it's going to come out and be super, super long. You can see how it's best to have a lot of space because this is already very long about to hit this tree over here if that was in the way still going it has gotten stuck i don't know what happened but i'm just gonna try to push it it's stuck right here okay so as you can see i now have a very long piece of wood uh, this is very hard to move, by the way. It doesn't move like a normal piece since it's so big. Um, but an, a cool thing you can do is if you rotate it uh, in certain spots of the wood, then the piece will just go flying into the air. I'll see if I can do it. Yeah. So there goes the wood. But anyways, that's how you make modded wood in Lumber Tycoon 2. If this video helped you, Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.